Here we are outside the X8 research facility. Um, we're going to go inside and do some tests. So we've got this one and this one and this one and this one all pointing us towards X8. So that's clearly where we want to be. In we go. Just us in here. Very good. Don't know if I had a decent look around in here earlier. Maybe I should just check. Oh, somebody in here with me. Yeah, let's get the pulse gun out. Anyone else? No, just you. What's in here? Splicing facility terminal. Splicing rules. Only three may be performed a day. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, let's try splicing a robot with a dock. Robot. Dog. Robot dog. Cool. It seems to be friendly. Alright. Let's try something else. Clear the splicing area. As if by magic. Let's try splicing a lobotomite in a robot, see if this is as friendly. Robot lobotomite? A robotomite. I feel different, awake, alive for the first time ever. He's talking what to me. What is this strange new world around me? What does it hold in store for a dreamer such as myself? Oh. Is it all over? Yeah. Oh dear, that didn't last long. And he seemed so curious about the world as well. Uh, what's in this little foot locker down here? Just a bit of ammo that I don't need. Alright. Well, now it looks like those two splices are the only options I've got at the moment. Let's move swiftly on. What have we got here? Chemistry set. I can create some stim packs. Yeah, why not? Not going to say no to that. medical assistance there. These have got some things in them. Alright. Yeah, what a nice little place. Anyway, easily distracted. What does this terminal do? Ah, some memos. Right. X8 test subject information. Take on the role of one of those evil commies. You have to steal documents. An internal memo. Cyber dog surprise. Residential test memo. Do not enter the residential cyber dog test area. They're still being programmed. Okay. Uh, so, what's in this locker? A single cap. And some mentats. Yeah, I'll take the mentats and the scrap electronics. Uh, let's let's head down. Some leftovers from earlier. And I guess we're going to be wanting to start another test. Let's just have a little look around before we do. Yeah, let's take all that stuff. There's the main terminal. And a coffin. Yeah. <laughs> some vodka in there. Anything else awesome in here that I've missed? There's a footlocker down here. Just with a bit of scrap. Not fussed about that. Okay, let's let's quick save and let's let's move on to the next test. Institutional data retrieval advanced. A sonic emitter is required to complete this test. If you are not provided with a sonic emitter or have misplaced the one, please contact your host. Ah oh dear, is this because yeah, I put it away. I need to go back to the big empty and pick that up. Well, that's a little bit of a cramper on my style. Oh well, I won't force you to sit through it all. 
Okay, we're back. We've got a sonic emitter. Things are going to go much better this time. Advanced test. Use any means necessary to retrieve three files. Area loaded. Let's enter. So I think last time we found that the Q35 was the uh, the superior. Oh, look at the condition of that. Hmm. If I find any light clothes, I'm going to want to repair that when I can. Uh, yeah, the Q35 got the optimized ammo there. We found that worked pretty well. Okay, so I can't get through. Oh, there's a field disruptor. Sonic emitter data. Download EM pulse wave module. Oh, there we go. Well, that's what I want. Right, so I can now use my sonic emitter to close these. Oh, they've already done it magically. All right. Uh, yeah, I can use my sonic emitter to get through those doorways. Let's see, two shots. Oh, yeah, two shots will do it. That was nearly painful. These guys come up quite quickly. Uh, yeah, so let's let's quickly switch to that. There we go. Let's get the Q35 back out just in case we get snuck up on. I can see dogs moving down there. Did I just see a friendly marker? How odd. Right. Some of these things are surely going to be useful. Mm, maybe I was wrong. Some energy cells. Quite a lot of them. What's in there? Some good things. Right, let's let's move on. God, there's loads of them. Hall monitor. Your cooperation is requested. Okay, anybody coming for me? Not yet, it seems. Okay. This is going to be a very looty kind of walk around, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe I should try and clear the way before I get too into the looting. Something through there. Not something very hittable. Right, let's uh, let's look on the map where these. Oh my goodness! Clear the area. Yeah. Okay. Protectron. Need a pulse gun. Until order has been restored. That was a good shot. And that one wasn't so good. Oh, and I see a dog. Am I gonna get him? Okay. Need to back up. about to get dogged. Let's give you two good shots. Gonna need a few more good shots. Okay. Warning. Dangerous fugitive is on the loose. Do not attempt to apprehend. Alright. So who's next? There's another one of these hall monsters in here, I think. Yeah, two shots should do it. Apparently not. Maybe the pulse gun will be a superior weapon for this. That's the badger. And he's done. Right. Seen some red marks kind of backwards a bit there. They're going to be through this door, aren't they? Nope. Oh, they're above or Attention. below. Fugitive should be Some such, aren't they? Alright, let's 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 try and pick up some of our targets. So, that's another above-below job, isn't it? Right, let's access this. Retrieve student records. 
There we go. Records acquired. Anything good in here? No. Well, looting all these things could take a lifetime, so let's uh, let's maybe not do that on camera. Let's make our way up to the library. I see you. Yeah, you're coming towards me quite quickly. A sneaker. One thing I do want to try doing is that. Right. Not seeing any red marks. Let's make our way over to this corner. Nobody following us? Good. Okay, so let's retrieve some more student records. And we've got one more upstairs to grab. Anybody in here? Oh my goodness. Two for you. Oh, and someone's doing something at me. Oh, he's got some sort of sonic attack. That's a bit mean. Your head is crippled. Your entire body is dead. Good time for a quick save, I reckon. Alright, and there's another one of those things. I, I'm going to... Uh, how do I bind this? Do I hover over that and press 1? Alright, then click. That gives me that. Okay, so let's put that to 3. This will make my life a bit better. So 1, out, and then 3. Okay. There's a door. One, count, three. And that takes me kind of back to the start. All right. Yeah, we want to go upstairs. Going to be dogs around this corner. And while I'm here, I'm going to also map the pulse gun to four, I think. Who's to shoot at? Behind this door. Dog. Yep, two quick shots. Just me in here? I can do stuff with the turret system if I want, but that sounds quite tedious. Let's make our way to the yeah, you see, I'm sure I remember there being somebody around here, but maybe not. Ah, uh, maybe it was a thing that fell through. Yeah, I knew I'd done that for a reason. All right, open this door. Not seeing any red ticks. Oh! Oh, can he shoot me? Okay, let's uh, get the pulse gun back. And one shot might suffice. No, not today. Today is a two-shot kind of day for that Protectron. Alright. And then in this room, I believe... Uh, if these... See, I looted these once before. This is, this is kind of cool. I can keep re-looting these boxes. Uh, yeah, let me retrieve some records from here. Betsy Bright. Blah. Okay, and that should be this test done once more. We've got respawning dogs again, as they do. We must deal with the dogs in the usual fashion, Just dodging their ranged attacks. There's one gone. You, my friend. You, my friend, are dealt with. Okay. 
lots of junk. Cool. That's another one of these lovely tests done. And we can now break through the force fields, which I'm very happy about. Alright. And that's a quest completed as well. Jolly. So we've still got a residential cyber dog guard test. Let, let's do this find more information about the X8 test first. Where do I need to go for that? Around the corner? Looks like it's this way. Let's follow the long corridor. Ah, I remember walking down here shooting protectrons in a previous episode. What's this? That's the exit. Okay, well, I'm not sure whether that's where I want to be going right now. What's in here? Okay, some various things that I haven't been by and looted before. So why not do that now? And yes, lots of things for making weapon repair kits and such like. And also some less useful things. Oh, metal armor in there, that's going to weigh me down a bit. Kennel. Is that where I'm being pointed? Or I'm being... Can't even read that in the light. Residential observation. Let's check the local map. Yeah, it looks like maybe I want to go around through there. Oh my goodness. I saw this... Or maybe those two fought each other. Very good place for loot, this X8 facility. Someone else around the corner. Two people. Okay, let's just duck out of the way. Yeah, I see you. Why are you not dead yet? That took a lot of microfusion cells. Still, let's... Let's make ourselves over encumbered again, as we so much enjoyed. It's these lobotomite jumpsuits. Ah, but that said, I did say I wanted to repair my armour. So... Yeah, that makes them useful. Bit of a mess there. So what we got in here? Lots more containers. All the ammo for the guns, peoples. Uh, that looks like this is where I'm being guided to. Unusual shipment. Uh, dogs. Uh, supply, uh, the animals are feral every time I get close. Hissing and rattling. Oh, night stalkers, huh? Please advise. Uh, the dog appeared to be suffering from a very horrendous case of mange. And, yeah, chaos. <laughs> okay. It tried to swallow this guy whole, but because he was so large, the creature choked to death. That's one way of dealing with it. Right, so now we're in lockdown. Um, only surviving member of the shipping department. Until then, Dr. Callis in X13 has the pass card. Right, so we might be going to X13. Yeah. X13 is where we're going. Ooh, dog and lobotomite splicing experiment holotape. Okay, well... We can do one more splicing experiment today, so maybe that's where we're going to go. And I'm over encumbered. Let's drop metal armor. Well, let's let's pop the metal armor in this metal box. And that's how I'll know where it is, because it's the metal armor in the metal box. Yeah, let's quickly make our way back to the, the place where one splices. And let's splice. Let's splice together, you and me. 
Okay, oh, that's the door I need the key for. Uh, where does this take us to? Ah, back into here, that's good. Right, so where was that splicey room again? Was it down here? No, that's the kennel. The layout of this place is somewhat confusing. Um, I think maybe it was up here and down that end. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, let's let's clear that previous accident out of the way. And let's try putting a dog and a lobotomite together. Lobotomite and dog. Big flat of light. Ah, that's a bit of a mess. Yeah, okay. Alright, well I won't let you go to waste. Take your stuff. Okay, back to the sink, I think. I seem to recall picking up the personality disc for the toaster. Where's the toaster? Here's the toaster. Hello, toaster. <laughs> oh. I am online once again! Nice. Tremble world before my electric heating coil of doom! Tremble, you're a toaster. How fearsome can you be? A toaster is just a death ray with a smaller power supply. As <laughs> soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the world. Why all the rage? Have you ever tried to indulge in all-consuming urge to kill when you don't have opposable thumbs? Or hands? Or anything other than a bread slot? You'd have a lot of pent-up anger, too. Well, I, for one, am quaking in my boots. Buddy, if my heating element were just a little bigger, you'd be on fire right now! On fire! <laughs> I'd like to change the subject. Well, since I can't kill you, I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. Yes, you do. Uh, I'm almost afraid to ask what your function is. You should be afraid! I am the scourge of all small appliances, and the boogeyman that keeps lesser toasters awake at night. So you murder toasters? Not just murder! I tear them apart and render them down to their base components. Once their guts are spilled, you can do with them what you like. I've got some toasters for you. Well, well. What have we got here? Another innocent little toaster. Come here. I won't hurt you. Ha! Gotcha! Oh yes, the sweet smell of <laughs> spilled electric guts. The sparking diodes. I fucking live for this! This toaster is insane. Um, I can process toasters and appliances, or I can superheat a sat- Let's try superheating a Saturnite fist. Inventory, inventory, show me my superheated Saturnite fist. Saturnite fist superheated. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Let's uh. Yes. Let's... Yes. Yeah. Soon my work will be complete. See, I hope by giving Soon him the all these jobs to do, I'm not helping him fire. in his goal of uh, uh. You know, the world already burned in nuclear fire, right? Soon I will. What? It, it did. He... Yes, a couple of centuries ago, in fact. Really. Well, fuck. That really puts a damper on the toaster's mood. Oh well. No use crying over spilled Armageddon. Where was I? Oh right. Soon the world will burn in nuclear fire! Again! <laughs> I've got some toasters for you. Well, well. What have we got here? Another innocent little toaster. Come here. I won't hurt you. Ha! Gotcha! Oh yes, the sweet smell of spilled electric guts. The sparking diodes. I fucking live for this! Okay, let's process toasters and appliances. Two cameras. And an iron. And I get microfusion cells. And energy cells. Uh, that 
works for me. All right, let's uh, let's sort out inventory. Like Don't talk to me, light switch. Know your place. Yeah, let's sort out inventory, and uh, and then I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.